Oh my god. We guys, we have just had a viewing party for our first ever podcast. This is so exciting, honestly. So exciting. We actually spoke about spicy books this one. We talked about everything, didn't we? Book boyfriends. Book playlists. There's so much more. Honestly, it's so juicy. Half the things I didn't even realise existed. I know. And guess what? We don't, we don't even, even read, read books. books. Hi everyone, welcome to the Books to Door podcast. My name is Dylan and I'm here with... Nadia, Aisha, Sushmita. The theme for this week is spicy books, but I think we're going to kick it off with some bookish news. What have you guys got to tell us? Oh, what have we got? So it was the British Book Awards as well, wasn't it, this week? Oh yeah, this week. Oh, yeah. 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 I even wrote a blog about it, like a couple of days back. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I did. I was Read watching it. the live stream though. I was Wait. watching the live stream, it was great. They had, they, had, they had a few A-list actors on there. Yeah. Mm. They kind of introducing the awards. Yeah. And it was good to see people, like, names like Sweet Cherry, Books mm. and All being mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it was overall. Before it was good. anything, did you see Sanji's outfit? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It was we'll, amazing. We'll pop, so we'll pop it up here right now yeah. so you can see if you get an idea. Oh yeah. It was amazing though. So iconic. By the yeah, way, was... Sanji is a publisher at Sweet Cherry. Yeah. Really famous publisher. Really, yeah. really well known, isn't he, in the book world? Famous with his looks as well, his oh, outfits. outfits. Yeah. He's it's probably insane. the best dressed in the company. Yeah, yeah like, that's that's right. pick, up, pick, pick up a few, <laughs> put up a few there, put a few pictures there. Brilliant. So, let me look at, I think Bridgerton's releasing today as well, isn't it? Yes. yes. Oh, oh my god, god. yes. I need Why to watch it. On Thursday I know. morning. <laughs> I know, right? It's such a random so, Have you seen, like, the. I saw a couple of TikToks oh, yeah. and it was about the soundtrack for Bridgerton. Oh, oh my yeah. god. There's an orchestral version no of ways. Pitbull. They're, they have Pitbull. Like, BTS Dynamite. Pitbull, BTS, there's Pitbull. Taylor Swift on yeah. there. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Yeah. Worldwide. There's Billy Eilish. Eilish. Oh my god. Taylor Swift. Julia Quinn. I want to hear that. Mr. Worldwide. Julia Quinn, the author, she posted a, a picture with like all of the sisters, I think, and then she, po- yeah, she did, and then she posted dynamite in the background. It's so wait, like, I think I'm confusing, but she did post one yeah, picture yeah. with like all of them and all of the hearts. Oh, oh my god, god. so cute. So I did. You lot just said this before we turn the cameras on. You lot have just said. Bridgerton contains spice. Oh yes. So my, perce- my perception of Bridgerton was that it's. Regency. Yeah, Regency, Regency oh, kind of Royal, thing. that yeah. type of thing. So like elegance, much. there's no yeah. touching. Yeah. No touching, <laughs> elegance, you know what I mean? 1800s. It's got a bit of not. mystery to it. You might like mm. it. You should and watch it. You watch should. It. Yeah. You know what? Do yeah. you like how the tension's being built on spicy books? Uh, yes. Or do you like yeah. to, like, you know, just <laughs> get there? I, I like to go in with a bit of mystery. Oh, yeah. Then yeah. Bridgerton is definitely good. It's good. It's good. It's good yeah. I don't want to say anything because I might spoil it. Because <laughs> I'm that type of person. <laughs> so, so let me not. Okay. I think, I think yeah. the, the season that's releasing is the mm. book Romancing Mr. Bridgerton, if I'm not wrong. Yeah. I think yeah. so. Oh, is it? It is. Oh, so it's someone called Bridgerton. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's one of the Bridgerton brothers. Oh, I thought Bridgerton was a building. <laughs> I thought it was a you know, castle. It's, it's a family. Oh. Yeah, Viscount, Viscount, it's family. Yeah. Okay, I'm not yeah, yeah. okay, be wrong. That makes sense. <laughs> I don't know the hierarchy. Yeah. Maybe I should read more. But this brings us on to the next topic now. Or not, not the next topic, but kind of, what do you guys prefer, books or movies? What do you, it's always that age-old debate, isn't it? <laughs> books versus movies. See, I prefer both, but... If it's a well-known series, like yeah. I have to read the book before I watch the Oh film. yeah, because there's two different plots, yeah. right? See, I'm mm. that really annoying person that's like, you know in the books, it was actually yeah. like, <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay, like okay. we're watching stuff like Harry Potter or like yeah. The Maze Runner, yeah. I'll be like, actually, do you know in the books, like, Marnie didn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Boy, that was crazy. With what about me, yourself? I'm more of a movie person. Is it? Yeah, okay. because with books, if the book isn't, I don't know, like, if it's not that interesting, or if it's not in my genre, yeah. then I can't focus. If it's something like a spicy book, yeah. like Salacious Players, then I can 100% like pick that <laughs> over a movie. Really? But yeah, Leave for it me, to imagination. Movie, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting for a movie for this. Yeah. And you're gonna be there. First I'm gonna be, yeah. First ticket, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For ticket number one. I'm gonna have popcorn, <laughs> everything <laughs> slush. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. What about you, Mr. 
Um, I like both actually. Yeah. So it's because I love reading, but I'm also a cinematographer kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I am. So <laughs> it's like uh, if the movie is like really trending, or say for example, Bridgerton. I yeah. haven't read the books, like all of it. Yeah. But then I will not miss. I'm going home and watching the season yeah. like tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So like I will watch that, but I will get to the book at some point. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that I'm, I'm, I will judge. I will yeah. be like, yeah, no. I will give you ten points for this. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't matter. Doesn't matter the order. Yeah, like doesn't matter do the better, order. But I'm yeah. gonna do both. Yeah, okay. yeah. Just preferably books, but no both. Mm-hmm. Yeah, does the, does the order matter to any of you guys as well, or is it just? I don't. I'm no. Not. I think yeah. Nadia mentioned she wants to read the book before. Yeah. 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 Okay. Before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To pick but up on the smaller that. details. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I like to see what's similar and what's different. Yeah. It's really interesting. From like a film perspective, like you said, yeah. and also from like a literary perspective. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. what about, you know, what is it called? The Fault in Our Stars? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Fault in Our Stars. So there's a movie version and a book version. So in that book, I don't know if you guys read it, is mm-hmm. it the same like storyline yeah. or? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. a bit different. Pretty similar. Pretty, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. But like when Fault in Our Stars came, there's another book called Everything Everything and mm-hmm. I got too invested in it. I yeah. haven't read it or seen the film, but then yeah. because this happened and the mm-hmm. movie was like a big yeah. hit, I had to like you go. You went into it. Yeah, I went into it. Okay. And then I also found like so many similar books. Yeah. Oh. And then I started thinking I was sick. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it, but it opened you into that avenue yeah, of those that's type of books. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. It didn't happen when I started with the book. It was after the movie that I got into all of the books. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. It okay, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. I really want to watch it. Really? Mm. So it's really good. It's like very, a very cute romance. It's like cute, but yeah. sad, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh, very sad. It's like a little plot twist. Is it a plot twist? Or is it known throughout? I think now everybody knows about it. I like, feel like yeah. it was Someone known, else. but there is, if you haven't read it, there yeah. is a bit of a plot twist okay, towards yeah. the end. Yeah. yeah. Fault in it's, Our Stars. It's quite Have you sad. Have no, you seen I, it? I was working in a cinema when it was released. Oh, so I remember nice. it. Every loads of people it was so popular. Fancy. Tickets. You see yeah. people crying on the way out. There were. That's why I know. <laughs> really? so I think if someone, <laughs> yeah. I don't know, if it must be someone gets ill. Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I saw a lot of people crying. But yeah. I feel like that's John Green style. Though. Oh like, yeah. His yeah. books are so Is it? not like traumatizing, but also kind of traumatizing. Yeah. Yeah. Rip your heart and just throw it. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what he does. I feel like oh. it was very popular, like back when I was at high school. Oh. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, there yeah. used to be everyone used to just be like what's the latest strong green book but then oh have you seen gosh. the style of writing change as it as you've from school to now has it changed or i haven't read any of his recent work but i feel like then he had a really consistent style because oh, okay. mm. there's something interesting you guys picked up on you said that the fact that book talk is now influencing the way authors write yeah yes. I which i thought was crazy so it's a social media platform mm. actually determining what people are reading now mm. so yeah Tell us a bit more about that. Like, how do you think it's going to go going forward, moving forward, moving past TikTok? Do you think any other social media platforms are going to influence it or has it happened before? I think there is influence from all kind of social media platforms as of now. But BookTok, mm. yes, because I recently read somewhere that it contributes to the maximum, like to the majority of the sales of romance oh, wow. books. Yeah, okay. close to like 70%. And I'm like, what? How? Wow. Wow. Is that yeah. online books as a whole? or? Uh, no, the book talk genres. Like oh, for wow. example, we have it like yeah. you know, in our site, the book talk special, yeah, book yeah, talk yeah, yeah. trending, yeah. all of those books. Oh, wow. So basically spicy romance is like yeah. the trend now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And people like, I think it's very much like what you mentioned. You can like, you know, totally go watch Titanic. I mean, but like, you know, other <laughs> books, like Fortnite <laughs> yeah. style yeah. or anything. Yeah. Yeah. This, you want to leave it to your yeah. imagination and you want to like, yeah. 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 yeah, 100%. Yeah. 100%. Because yeah. it is an escape. So yeah. I think yeah, maybe yeah, because yeah. of that. Okay, yeah. so do you feel there's more spicy books coming on the market now then? Yeah, because and that is because of social trend, media. Yeah. Social yeah. media. It's a little trend at the moment. Is it? And do you think it's something that's like a little hidden getaway for a group of yeah. people? that 100%. can. Okay, it's so interesting. Like, yeah, sorry. No, no. I feel like it's really changed the perspective about romance as a genre as well. So I was reading okay. an article the other day and it was like, romance used to be seen as this like, oh, it's only for like lonely women or just like young <laughs> teens, okay, like yeah. looking for their puppy love or that kind of oh, thing. Yeah. But BookTok has really changed this perspective. So now you have all types of books. You have like YA romance, you've got spicy romance. And it delves into other genres as well. So you have yeah. like fantasy romance, romancy, oh, wow. that kind of thing. But it's centered around romance, basically. Yeah, yeah. so you do see you think, a lot more resurgence of romance now. So do you think having TikTok is really people talking about a pla- or talking about spicy books on a platform like TikTok has made it someone else has seen the video and think, oh, I do that as well, I do that as well. It's kind of 
everyone's realized they do the same thing yeah. because of TikTok, and now it's just growing popularity. And I think, think like in a uh, in a very weird way, it's really nice that it has been normalized. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. there used to be a time, at least from where I am, mm -hmm. it used to be like if you read so much spy, it's like you what? Yeah, yeah. Why are yeah. you? It's yeah. too adulty. Like you yeah, know, yeah. Yeah. that's just not okay. Mm -hmm. But now it has been normalized. You know, talking about yeah. pleasure and yeah. yeah, everyone has their own little like community, book talk community. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like yeah. some people for spicy books, some for like. Yeah. Like thriller. Yeah. yeah. There's yeah. all these different subsections, yeah. but yeah, I just find it. So from my background is I don't really read books as much. Yeah. Getting into it more now, which is quite ironic. But because of spicy books. Because yeah. of spicy books. But this whole spicy book thing, this bubble, I'd never heard of it. We forced and, you. Yeah. <laughs> no. So what was the book like? We showed you all of these books. Yeah. What was the book that like? changed your perspective so for me it was that uh, never after series i've got one of them here me too yeah <laughs> but the idea, it wasn't the idea of spice that drew me to it it was more the idea of it's a fractured fairy tale yeah it's, it's yeah. about something that i used to watch when i was a kid but it's now been adapted and changed a bit yeah. to suit how i'm now as an adult which is why it was interesting and yeah i started reading wretch wretched is it wretched wretch we have this yeah. debate all the time don't we? Yeah. <laughs> if someone who doesn't read i can highly recommend it so i'm, I'm only like a few chapters in, but what is I'm hooked. I'm <laughs> hooked. That was a book fun. <laughs> that was a book fun. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a book called Hooked. Yeah. Little. Same one. Yeah. 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 No, it's good. Definitely. It's just, it's just about she's she's the heiress to this family business, oh, but okay. it's a family. It's an illegal family business. Yeah. It's to do with narcotics. It's a diamond one. Yeah. No, it's, yeah, so oh, yeah, it's yeah, this yeah. one. It's doing narcotics, and then the she gets in trouble. I'm only two chapters in, but yeah. her family's in an illegal business. You know, looking at this, uh, the cover of the mm -hmm. book, I wouldn't think mm -hmm. it's like a, you know, spicy book. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's just like a little, I don't know, adventure, thriller. Yeah, fantasy, but this is, yeah, fantasy. This is something yeah. you mentioned earlier, which I found very interesting. Mm -hmm. like, authors or publishers have actually started adapting the covers. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that these type of books can be read in public. Yes. Oh, really? So it's really weird. So it's like some of the covers for like the Twisted series. Yeah, you're yeah. saying or, yeah. yeah, or like the Icebreaker, or even the ones behind you, like the Ali Hazelwood. They look yeah. like cute YA fluffy romances. Yeah. Like, the, or they're cartoon covers, but like they're inside, cute. the people who've actually read them are like, no, this is like spicy. Danger. <laughs> yeah. So like you always get like when you see people reading it on like the bus or something, you'll have yeah. that look of acknowledgement. Like I know what you're reading. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. is, that, is that why they did it? You think because then it makes these books easier to read in public. I think it makes them look a bit more appealing as well. Okay. I think it's really interesting that they're I, taking up spectrum. I noticed one thing in the Never After series. Yeah. So like the cover, right? And yeah. um, so there's like one prominent image in here, and that's mm -hmm. very closely associated to the plot. Yeah. I didn't realize that till like, I got into like a oh. couple of chapters. Yeah. yeah. So like there's one um, one book has diamond. I'm really sorry <laughs> yeah, I yeah. missed the sorry. title. Yeah. But then that is because they do the diamond business. Yes. And the other one oh. has, I think this is the heart. Yeah. So this is about a broken heart. And there's another one with church bell and you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Did so that. it's like. I don't know that. Yeah. yeah so oh. like it's more like, you know, so because it came like, you know, um, it had like it breaks, right? It came yeah. in like, yeah. you know, a specific yeah. duration. Yeah. So like when they released the cover, yeah. the audience kind of picked up that, you know, this is going to be based on this. Right, yeah. So like it's really smart of the authors to do that. Mm. Do you know That's what really I really like? It's like the same thing as when you're reading a book and then the title makes sense. Do you ever get that feeling that you're like, oh my God, I yeah. get it now. Once you finish yes. the book. Yeah. Oh, okay. <clears throat> See, I've, I've not done that because I don't have experience of reading a full <laughs> but I can certainly say, I feel like, like we're the same. We're the same. You, you two, two are like, you tell us this doesn't make sense to you. <laughs> See, that, that's one of the rare See, books that made sense to me this, before. Yeah. <laughs> and that one. And pray. And maybe <laughs> this pray. This is like my yeah. favourite. Honestly, I love it. You only started getting into these. And then we're like, weeks, I don't know, but... I just. I want to keep them. What's okay, what about something like this? This is called the Fine Friend. See, yeah. I would not read that. Ashen? What I do you think this is about? It's very much like Babel. <laughs> Really? <laughs> because it looks that way, right? With a castle and all of it. It gives like a very... Like what is it? Before I tell you what I've read in the first chapter, what vibe? So I get Harry you? Potter vibes from that. Harry Potter But I don't know what? if that, that... I get some sort of like fantasy style novel. I just Hogwarts. see the castle. <laughs> yeah, Hogwarts. Hogwarts. I see oh, the yeah. castle. But then I get a dark element of it, which is that rip bit in the middle. It gives me Olden... Olden... This is the fine print. Oh, it's like... Optics. <laughs> Almost it like it doesn't give me spice. Kind of yeah. thing, right? That doesn't oh, give yeah, me spice. Yeah, something of that sort. Doesn't this, it's kind of like goth also. Like a little bit gothic. I think it's, okay, I'm just doing too much. No, yeah. I'm getting into the architecture now. <laughs> We're not doing <laughs> that in this podcast. Gothic Renaissance architecture. <laughs> 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 
much. <laughs> Moving on. You. Are. But yeah, so this is actually I read the first chapter of this. It's about a guy called Rowan. Yeah. His grandfather has died, and he owns this um, almost like think of like knockoff Disneyland type thing. Mm. So does the castle seem a bit familiar now? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So I can see the arch now. Yeah. yeah. Like it looks like the Disney castle. Right? Yeah. 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 So basically, his grandfather's just died, and he's left a will for him and his two other brothers. Yeah. And they each have to do a task in order for them to um, inherit their share of oh. this entire, like, almost Disneyland yeah. style park. Oh my god! So his challenge, so one of his brother's challenge is to, I think, marry someone and okay. have a kid and that he'll get his share. Yeah. Oh. And I think Rowan's one is to design, again, he used to design for the park, but yeah. then he stopped doing that. So he has to design something and once he does that, he'll get his yes, 18% yeah. of the share. Yeah. Okay, that actually sounds interesting. You just sold me the book. Yeah, you know? yeah. Thirty seconds. You just sold me the book. At first, I was it's usually Dylan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you sold me the book. No, that you sold me. So like, if they don't get their share, it automatically goes to their dad. But Isn't apparently, it? they don't like they don't like their dad. Um, but I don't really know what yeah. the story is yet. It's a trigger warning. You said you're not gonna like. You actually dive into the book, right? Yeah, I dive into the book. I don't read the trigger warnings because that's when you know it's a good book. If there's a trigger warning. <laughs> so you are. Do you see there's a spoiler? No, like I just think if there's trigger warnings, that's when you know there's something juicy in there. Oh, like okay. something is going on in there. So why would I want to like? Sp- yeah, I'm just like, like give me the yeah, menu. Yeah, I don't want to know. Whole menu. I don't wanna know. So the longer the trigger yeah. warning is, the better the book in your exactly. eyes. Exactly. Oh wow. Hey. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Is that the same for you guys? Nah, you just yeah. read it for the book or? Uh, no, I definitely have to go through the trigger warnings, okay. and after series, even to just read like you know a couple of chapters, yeah, I had yeah, to yeah, go yeah. to the website and look up <laughs> the trigger warnings. I get trigger very easily. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I think it's very nice now mm-hmm. that people are having trigger warnings in their yeah. like, you know, books because I don't think it used to be like a thing. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't yeah. make it that. that. No, yeah. yeah. Cause for movies, yeah, it comes on at the start like PG or like yeah. Yeah. with books, I wouldn't have expected that. Mm-hmm. I, I I think that makes more sense. Yeah. To just have the audience, like, you know, for appropriate audience seems very like, you know, yeah. regular. That wouldn't yeah. bother me yeah. at all. I wouldn't take a look at it, even if I was sixteen <laughs> yeah. yeah. Don't not read it. <laughs> yeah. But I, you know, I would but then when there's like a specific trigger warning saying, you know, mm. this is happening, you might have to be prepared. Yeah. Even if maybe I will not go into the book, yeah. but also it helps me be mentally prepared to jump into it and yeah. Yeah. see it happen. Yeah. Because to come. Spicy books are graphic. Yeah. I, I mean, love it. <laughs> <laughs> you do get you do get those extra trigger warnings on some documentaries and series. Mm-hmm, yeah. You know when they say this one specifically contains yeah, 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 happened yeah. in Baby Reindeer. I don't know if you guys have seen yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. It happened yeah. in episode four yeah, and, and straight away. So it's kind like of it depends. There's two sides. So one side is like almost oh, it's kind of spoiling the book. Like yeah. you like to go yeah. blindly. Yeah. On one hand, it's really good to be able to see like in case you get triggered easily what there is. As but well. you know what? I'd like to add to that. <laughs> okay. Some people find it intriguing because you know that yes. this is gonna happen. When is it gonna happen? Yeah. And how is it gonna? You're happen? just waiting. Like, see, I'm on the next yeah. page. You should start yeah. reading trigger warning as like an index page. No, <laughs> no, like, I'm very this is happening when. <laughs> no, no, I'm sensitive. So like just that. like uh, <laughs> what's extra words. <laughs> no, 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 no. Put it down. <laughs> yeah, I'll be honest. Yeah. I, I saw this. I looked at the trigger warning list and I was like, hmm. I'm not sure. Sorry, I just got it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did you guys know? There's there's a playlist along with the book. No My way. My book has a playlist. Yes. Yeah. 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 So, wait, let For me what? show you guys. There's Music. a playlist. Yeah, the author yeah, gives you like a playlist so you can like listen to it. And what, is it the instrumental? No, like no, pop It's like a proper shopping. Oh. So, you know, shopping. shopping. Like Spotify. <laughs> Spotify playlist. Are you sure it's in this book? It's in the Never After oh series, so I just have to find out. It's in my book. This it's is salacious. You've got it in yours as well? Yeah, you've got... Oh my god. From Eden. No, because I'm pretty sure I have to like do these pages. So is this one of those Spotify pages? I have the wrong book. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what so. I'm talking about. I'm talking about Never After season. I have the wrong it. book. Oh my god. <laughs> it has a playlist. I thought so. Look at Dylan. Oh my Did god. Did it? <laughs> it's I've a been, book. I've been, I've been it's looking at this book. I've been looking at this book. This is so why long. you don't skip the trigger warning, the oh, prologue. Yeah. No, this had an author's note. Dylan's like, where's chapter one? Yeah. <laughs> also <laughs> by Emily. <laughs> no, I just found out what a prologue was yesterday, which was insane. It sets the background. Don't worry, we're getting Dylan there. I'm getting there. Slowly, I'm slowly. getting there. I'm open to it. But yeah, it's like an opening to the book, it yeah. sets the scene. It is. It's quite interesting. And you get into the vibe by listening to the playlist and you know you're yes. getting prepared for it. Mm. So you listen to the playlist while reading the book. Yeah. People do that, you know? Yeah. Do you ever see those people on trains? They have headphones in, they're reading a book. Oh yeah. That no, is no, 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 no,
Yeah. It feels to me, yeah. like from my perspective, books and movies are getting so more and more similar. Do you think? Book soundtrack, movie soundtrack, trigger warning list, warning list. Everything's become similar. Book boyfriend. <laughs> people, have, <laughs> people have book boyfriends. I found out the other day. Yeah. You don't have a book boyfriend? I have no, a book boyfriend. Book girlfriend? Who's your book boyfriend? No, book boyfriend, no book boyfriend. No book boyfriend, book boyfriend girlfriend. is, you know, the ex boyfriend's dad. <laughs> In which book? <laughs> In, In every book. This, <laughs> this one, yeah, this one. Very sweet, yeah. Really? Yeah. Sorry, yeah. So book boyfriends. Yeah. I think it makes sense. But do you see what I mean? It's, it's, you fancy someone in a movie, yeah. you book boyfriend, it's so, they're crossing over more and more. You know what? I never had a book boyfriend because I found all of the characters, most of the characters yeah. in romance and like, you know, spicy books to be stereotypical. Yeah. Like, you have to be, the guy yeah. has to be tall, has to be macho, has to have like a very dark past. Tall yeah. hair, blue dark eyes. hair. Blue. Okay, I'm colorblind. <laughs> More like. <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah. Guys, I have beauty. <laughs> but you know, he, he'll wear only black shirts. And then there's a yeah. girl who's like bubbly and wears colorful clothes. Yeah. And he has like a catch face. See, that's like the trope, isn't it? It's like, what is it? Um, Grumpy ex sunshine yes. trope? <laughs> yes. So I never oh had God. a book boyfriend because of that, but. Okay. Yeah, I have to come. So, Discoveries. Yeah, the characters here are more like, you know, vulnerable and like they're very like complex and I liked that. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend yet, but maybe. Oh. See, I think like with spicy books, because they've normalized things like like sex and stuff and oh, yeah. stuff we would find to yeah. do, I feel like it opens it up to be more vulnerable about things. Yes. Like if yeah. you're vulnerable mm-hmm. about something yeah. really intimate, you can be un- like vulnerable about yeah. like other emotions as well. I feel like it's a really good segue. Like people dismiss romance books as, oh, it's just airy fairy yeah. romance. But cringe. I feel like, <laughs> yeah, cringe. Yeah. But I feel like a lot of these books, they delve into really, like really hard topics to talk Index. about. Like grief. They this one is about yeah. grief quite yeah. a bit. Um, yeah, just things like that. It's interesting though. Yeah, like you said, they do... It does seem to be more than it than just romance, yeah, but it 100%. just seems to be the key mm. of all the books. But I, when you lot said, when you first told me about book boyfriends, <laughs> my mind was so blown. Dylan, are you going to get a book girlfriend? No, I don't understand. <laughs> For me, I'll be honest, and this might be sounding horrible and offensive to everyone in the book world. <laughs> cover your ears. <laughs> Guys, cover your ears. For me, I just see words. Yeah. Maybe that's no. my imagination no, not no, being same. good. No. But, or maybe I'm just, I don't know, the way I interpret it, I just see words. I don't imagine the whole story in my head. I feel like, like that's because me, cause me and you are the same. Yeah. Until you find a book that you actually like, yeah, then yeah, your, yeah. you know, your imagination will click. Is that when it clicks? for these, yes, it's clicking. Mm-hmm. For everything else, not so much. You're not. You haven't met your person yet. No, I'm not, I'm not met my match. Yeah. Also, you have my book match. say if you have a wife. Yes. Okay, in real life. And you know you have a book girlfriend. Yeah. Is that cheating? Is, Ooh. It, is it cheating? I mean, probably not. Comment. <laughs> Comment below. If Comment you think below. It's <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't. But know at the that. same time, I think it's. A, I'd be. In, I'd be embarrassed <laughs> to tell my wife. That I fancy yeah, words on a page yeah. because that's how I'm looking at it. I'm She'll looking just at look words. At you like, She's like, what? You fancy the dictionary or something? Like, what's going on here? Like, it's a dictionary, man. Chill. Like, yeah, that's, that's what I would... So I'd feel embarrassed saying that. You should give to her the set. That's, yeah, but that's my perspective. And it's not obviously... Yeah. It's just my perspective. But yeah. what's your perspective on it? Like, would you tell your partners? Would you be comfortable telling your partners? What would they say? I'd tell my partner. Would just you? to get him jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so same thing, different motives. But you would feel yeah. jealous. You, huh? you reckon he would feel jealous? Yeah, he'd feel insecure. He'd be thinking... But I'm not like that. Like, oh, really? I'm, like, do you know what I mean? But I don't yeah. know. Maybe I'm a bit different. No, no. no. So, That's what you mean. <laughs> You'd rather see somebody in a book? <laughs> yeah. yeah. At least I'm not cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cheating with you. I'm cheating with a character. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. What about you guys? Do you think it is? or? I'm embarrassed. Okay, fine, guys. <coughs> On it. To be very honest, yeah. I'm too embarrassed to even like you know tell people this is what I'm weaving. Like, oh, <laughs> is it? I don't know what I'm doing in a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come out of your shell. Yeah. You should blow my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm 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 owning up to it. Yeah, yeah that's it. Good. Oh, I am. Thank you so much. Validation. <laughs> yeah. But no, um, I think I would be embarrassed. I wouldn't be like you know so open about it. Would you think it's cheating, or no? Maybe. Oh, wow. Oh. But see, maybe this is m- m- you guys imagining the book more. So in your yeah. head, more. Just don't, yeah. don't imagine it in the appropriate time. Then you're fine. What about you, Nadia, as well? I don't know. I feel like a little 
fictional crushes like cute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But okay, but if it was your husband doing it, okay, would you think like, it's throw, cheating? Throw the book out the window. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no Burn it. Burn it. Burn it. <laughs> Burn book. Mm. Hmm. No, see, if, if, if I reckon... I don't think you got it. Have you watched Meme Gods? Yes. I have, yes. Oh, they're writing. Yeah, they're writing. I remember that. Meme Gods fans. Yeah, meme Gods. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, yeah, if, I, if my wife was reading something, I'd just be like, okay. Would you also go and read the same book and try to, like, you know... You he care. would, like, he'd go toilet and just take... <laughs> <laughs> <and> just <laughs> No, you thank you for exposing my toilet habits. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't care to be honest. I'm yeah. like, it's a book. Like, you could like, you'd be stupid to think that not everyone has fantasies. So you're just reading it off a book. So for me, yeah. it's like whatever, man. Carry but on. See, how different is this from like just being, you know, having a huge crush on an actor? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's exactly. like actually a movie. That's literally it. There's no difference yeah. other than that. See, that's actually worse. You're actually having a crush on the actor, not on the character exactly. that they played in the movie. Cheer. Or the words used to describe Atta that actor. Atta cheer. <laughs> what, having a celebrity crush? 100%. So, so you don't have a celebrity crush? I do. <laughs> okay. But, but. It's not cheating when she does it's it. It's not cheating when I do it. Anyone else does it? Don't yeah, else does. <laughs> yeah, but you don't get the rules right. Yeah. So Give them the trigger warning. So yeah. here's one then, here's one. Because th- this is why I struggle to, to quantify it. How do you know, when does a book go from being, not normal, but a different type of novel, novel to a spicy book? What is it? One sentence, two sentence, chapters worth of spice. I think the words for me. Yeah. If it's like explicit, oh, yeah. I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's yeah. happening? I'm awkward. Yeah, hundred percent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because in normal books, yeah, they're kissing. There's like, oh yeah, he kissed me. That's nothing to me. But it's the words. And, <laughs> the, yeah, hundred percent. Like yeah. that's nothing. I mean, I've but opened those books on this, random pages and read that, very questionable this is words. This spicy. Hundred yeah. percent. The words in here, yeah, 100%. It's very questionable. I feel like when it's graphic, like graphic content. Oh, like, yeah. Really? Like you have, I don't know if you guys have had this thing, this like off-screen like romance and on-screen romance. Mm-hmm. So like, could be, could, I think it's called like closed door and open door. Okay. Uh, do you know what I mean? So it's okay. like closed door is like, the door closes, the reader kind oh, of yeah. gets the vibe what's going on, but there's no explicit detail. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then open door is like, the reader... Death joins them everything. joins them like, well, he's there with that moment experience yeah. the moment yeah. whereas the other ones like they walked into a room bang door closed yeah, yeah they're just like standing there watching with that yeah they're just reading there like just yeah. Just, yeah yeah you're supposed to close the book with yeah. yeah. okay I'm done that's it okay that's, that's interesting yeah because I've opened like I said I've opened those books mm. I flick through a page and I there's always a questionable word on either of the pages. Wasn't that like a challenge thing that we were doing? You yeah. Know? Anybody Literally. can open any page and that was dare like, you. Yeah, that's it. I, I, yeah, those books, they're not like this spice. Yeah. They're, they're their own level of spice. Yeah. I you want more books like this. Just so is there one... More red flag boys. <laughs> yeah. So is, is there one definition you can say that is what makes a book spicy? And not spicy or can a spicy book still have words like just kissing and things like that i feel like it depends on the plot as well like it just needs to you know flow so i don't know how to i feel like if more if the book is like 70 percent like yeah okay. explicit content i'd class that as spicy so yeah. 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 like for example sorry i keep bringing no, no, bridgerton no. up yeah. <laughs> i'm not okay, even bridgerton yeah. kind of spice, yeah. You know? yeah. it's like you know uh you have both you know yeah. you have romance you have family you have friends oh, okay. and so it's a bit less spicy less spicy and there's like really good amount of tension yeah. Yeah. you can see the tension build and there's like a little bit of like you know, touching like parts yeah. 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 there's no like going for it <laughs> and then that happens and yeah. you love it yes. i'm enjoying it yes. like that spice yeah. i'm on but like, yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. i loved it like that tension even though i love spice like yeah. that was amazing yeah. do you know what that is that that's was like amazing. slow burn romance yes, yes. that's like, it like the tension the like the eye contact the hand yeah. brushes yeah so even bridgerton is like on the lower end of spice it's yeah. still, I mean, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's really like, good spice. Yeah. Yeah. Watch it. I, mean, <laughs> I, I think it. that's what appeals to people, like this whole slow yeah. burn romance. Like, you really want them together yeah. and they like, hate each other. I don't think it's the spice that doesn't draw me to the books. I think it's the romance ideas. Yes. I just don't find that topic interesting. Not no. the spice, but the topic interesting. Because yeah. I feel like you can have spice in a mystery book or spice you know in a what? different book. Oh, yeah, but 100%. it's just the romance side of it. It's not. Hmm. It's not even that. It's literally like mystery full on and then with romance in it so that's your homework okay <laughs> you know, for go next Netflix week guys yeah. and just 
Just browse the spicy section on Netflix. Yeah. Yes. I okay. think that's why I got into these books. I was able to like, you know, um, go through them and like not lose interest because they had like the plot was giving us like a little bit of tension and like, yeah. you know, introducing the characters yeah. well enough yeah. for us to like, you know, see how grounded they are, how humble they are and then get into the spice. Okay. If they were just going to be open and like, you know, be like, done. Okay, fine. This is happening. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. So how long does it take you guys to read a book? Because for me, I feel like this would take me years, but... I know for some people this could take them a few days or... I think it depends how into the book I am. Yeah. Like, I feel like if I'm really engaged in a book, it will, like, I'll be in, like, a week. Less than a week. But I feel like if... Two, it's me really slow. <laughs> two months. <laughs> two months, yeah. Two months. Oh, my right. God. It's like, uh, have you guys watched Brooklyn nine oh, Yes. And yeah. Jake goes, I'm going to wake... I'm going to be up all night and read those books. Like, no, it's just 150 pages. I'm going to be up all three nights and read this. <laughs> I feel like that would be me, honestly. 100%. <laughs> I don't not enjoy reading. Mm. I'm just not passionate about it. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm in both extremes. If I really love the book, I'm just gonna do like a marathon and yeah. finish it. But also, if I like, if I like need to test it, if I don't like it at all, I want to finish it. So I'm gonna like you know go through okay. it. Like that's my thing. If I don't like a book, I'll still finish it. Yeah. Like, just because I finish. hate the feeling oh. of like, an, I'm like Honestly, no, it will get better at some point. It yeah. will get better. I have so much hope. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. Okay. So should we wrap this episode up? And I think we need to pick, we need to decide on a new theme for next week or the next episode. Mm-hmm. Um, should we get some of the guys below to comment? Um, oh, yes. See what, com- what themes you're interested in, whether yes. even if it's not for next week, it might be for a future episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. Whatever you wish. <laughs> yeah, whatever you wish. you wish. There's no podcast. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you look know, spicy again. No, please. <laughs> I can't read any more of this. No, no, no I definitely not well, Will you like me and Dylan this? Sorry? Yeah. Me and Dylan got this. Oh, book. we're gonna, we're gonna, we're yeah. gonna jump on this spicy book Dylan train. Dylan, I shall take over. I feel like you're, you're becoming more of a reader now, anyway. Yeah, I am. Yeah. I try. On the spicy train. <laughs> I try. She's got so many boyfriends now. Yeah. <laughs> one, two, three. How do you choose between which one you're gonna read? <laughs> um. So basically, I'm starting off with praise, and then I'll probably do. Uh, this one I think is the polyamorous relationship. Oh. And you read these in public? Yeah, I would happily read it in public. Yeah. She's just a flaunt it. She's like, I like spicy hey. books. Like, yeah. Guys, look what I'm reading. Everyone. Spicy yeah. and proud. Might I'm gonna well. read it like this. Cowl with like an other book and just like you know pretend. <laughs> That's how I would read it. And yeah. I'm just gonna read I'd it be on sweating my phone. and I'd be like, oh no, I'm not. <laughs> how would you would you read it in public? I'd do what's just me to do. I'd be like, give me a different <laughs> book behind yeah. it. Yeah. I'd have the Daily Mail or something here. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I feel like, personally, like, I feel like spice is not romance. Slow yeah. bad yeah. tension. Definitely my thing. Yeah, I feel like yeah, yeah. heavy spice, like your books, for example, the ones that you're reading, I feel like, I don't know. So I, just I, just personally, up, I feel like that's I just lit up when you said spice. I would rate spicy books 10 out of 10. Every 10? spicy book? Yeah, every spicy book out of 10. What about <laughs> you, Nadia? <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it would be lower end, like, Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to give it a 3.5. <laughs> Negative 10 for me. Negative 10. Oh, really? Yeah, don't see the point in... For me, again, sorry if I offend anyone, I don't see the point in reading it as words. I've got my eyes for a reason, so I, I don't want to read it as words. Yeah. We will, um, you know, let you know when all of these are made as... Films. Films. Or series, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. if it's a series... Yeah. I'll watch it, I don't mind. Yeah. No, let me know too. <laughs> I shall know first. I shall know first. I'm like, to come into the office like, guys, guess what? Guys, I'm actually dyslexic, so <laughs> it's actually quite hard for me to read. Okay, it's like the words be jumbling, but because I like it so much, I'm trying, you know? That's I'm still on my first book. See? Aww. Aww. <laughs> I feel like when the films yeah. in the uh, you know, series are yeah. being released, I shall be like, nah, my <laughs> imagination's way better. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. Yay. That's it, guys. Thank you. And Thank you. We'll see you next week. Bye. Or next time. Bye. Mm-hmm.